Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com. You may not know it, but Hyundai has had a flagship luxury car called the Equus that competes with the BMW 7 Series, the Lexus LS. It's had that car for more than two years now. If you don't know it, it's probably because shoppers have bought fewer than 8,000 of them in that entire span. In February alone, shoppers bought more than double that number of Hyundai Sonatas. Well, here we are at the 2013 New York International Auto Show, and Hyundai has some updates for the Equus that it hopes will catch your attention. Well, the exterior updates may give you a hard time telling those differences. Hyundai says the front bumper, the lights, the mirrors, the grille have been changed. I've been looking at this car back and forth with last year's Milo. I can't really tell what the hell they did, so see if you can. You'll definitely see more changes on the inside. Hyundai has redesigned some of the climate controls here. There's a screen above them that now measures 9.2 inches. That's up from 8 inches in the last Equus. You step up to the Equus Ultimate, you get a 12.3 inch screen here. That's pretty humongous. Uh, there's new gauges here. These are simulated gauges. Again, that's something that a lot of high-end luxury cars are going toward. Again, on the Equus Ultimate, you have things like two 9.2 inch screens behind the front seats that let rear seat passengers see a little bit of the action. Speaking of your passengers, they're going to be having a good time back here. Uh, tons and tons of legroom. Headroom's really good too. Uh, like any proper luxury flagship car, the, uh, the Equus has a lot of features for rear seat passengers. Things like power rear seats here, uh, power sunshade um, in your rear windows, uh, mirrors up here if you want to see what you look like in the back seat, I guess. Uh, climate zones, heated and cooled seats, plenty of stuff to keep people happy. One feature that went away was the power ottoman. Uh, from the last Equus, which was a foot rest that kind of came up only on the passenger side. Hyundai says that they, uh, the passengers wanted both sides to have more of the similar features, and so they moved a couple features over to the driver's side rear seat, like uh, power lumbar, um, and took away that ottoman. The Equus carries over with a 429 horsepower 5 liter V8 that teams with an 8 speed automatic transmission. There's an adaptive air suspension which Hyundai says it's retuned for a better ride handling mix and better differentiation between regular and sport modes. We'll have to wait until we drive it to report on that so stay tuned for more of our impressions around the cars on sale date this May.